Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Last year, we have witnessed the successful test of Agni-5 and Agni Prime nuclear capable ballistic missiles adding new dimensions to India's nuclear deterrence. Both the missiles have a lot of similarities because they are derived from Agni series of missiles. There is one more missile which possesses same specification as Agni-5. It is K-5 SLBM that is submarine launched ballistic missile. With the completion of Agni Prime and Agni-5, now the discussion has heated up for the testing of K-5 SLBM regarding which we are going to discuss in detail in today's video. So let's begin the video and discuss about K-5 missiles also known as the Ghost SLBM. India currently has one SSBN of 6000 ton in service which is INS Arihant. Another SSBN of this class which is INS Arighat has also completed its sea trials and is set to commission in the August 2022 along with ISC Vikrant, the indigenous aircraft carrier. The nuclear submarines are capable of launching ballistic missiles adding second strike capability to a strategic command in advent of any nuclear attack. India has two more SSBNs in progress which are S4 and S4 Star with a displacement of 7000 tons. S4 was launched in November 2021 and is undergoing the sea trials and it is set to be commissioned by 2024. The S4 Star is still under construction and will be ready for sea trials by 2022 and is expected to be commissioned in 2025. The S-4 and S-4 Star SSBNs are having 1000 ton displacement more than Arihant and Arighat. S-4 is an extended Arihant class design that has twice the weapons carrying capability than Arihant class. S-4 can carry 8 K-4 SLBM with a range of 3500 km or 24 K-15 SLBM with a range over 800 km in its 8 vertical launch tubes. S4 and S4 Star will be the SSBMs which will be getting most of the K4 and K5 SLBM missiles while Arihant and Arighat will be limited to K15 SLBMs. K5 SLBM is a new missile which is yet to be tested and reportedly has a range of 5000 km or more. DRDO has already got approvals to design and develop K6 SLBM which have even greater range than K5 SLBM and is expected to be around 8000 km. It will be also capable of carrying multiple warhead or MIRV capable warhead. These missiles will arm S5 class nuclear ballistic submarines which India plans to construct after the completion of S4 star. It is expected to start construction by 2022. S-5 will weigh around twice as much as preceding Arihant class submarine. The S-5 class of submarines will weigh around 13,500 tons. They are planned to be armed with up to 12 to 16 K-6 submarine launched ballistic missiles, each armed with multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles or MIRV warhead. Since the sea trials of S-4 SSBN has started, it is also expected that K-5 will be tested somewhere around the mid of 2022. It's also evident that the test of Agni-5 which has MIRV is possibly to test Agni-5 with some key technologies that would be used in K-5 missiles. Since S-4 submarine has left the dry docks, the test of K-5 missile is very very imminent. Now talking about K-5 SLBM. It is a submarine launched ballistic missile capable of carrying warheads up to 2 tons. It's going to be a three stage solid rocket propellant missile. It will be India's second MIRV capable of hitting multiple targets or single target with multiple warheads. It is planned to have a range between 5000 to 6000 kilometers. It is being developed to match the range of Agni-5 missile. The K-5 missiles will also feature countermeasures to avoid radar detection and will be the fastest missile in its class making it an indispensable weapon. 
The development of K-5 missile started back in 2015. Back on October 2020, it was reported that a missile is currently under development and is expected to be tested by 2022. In fact, one of the recent area warning issued between 11th to 14th of April from Vishakhapatnam is expected to be of K-5 missile. The missile will be tested from submersible pontoon launcher where missile will just come out of water and launched for smaller range. Pontoon is the submarine launched missile launcher system. Previously, pontoon launcher was also used for flight trials of k 4 SLBM. A system of four such launchers has been installed on the Arihant class submarine. With S4 in the blue waters for trial, India is all set to test its new K-5 missiles which will equip its new SSBNs and is equivalent to Agni-5 from the ocean. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.